I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right. Now I remember. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that. But it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Taki. We came back to NXT for one reason. To win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight! I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky, cause we're coming! I let you win last week because the dream thought about what you said. And I wanna prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dream's way. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is gonna happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title, back where it belongs. Hey, I heard you're in the Fatal 4-Way Last Chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight, then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the Money in the Bank match to then get a chance to face me for my title. I'm not much of a gambler, 
but I really like those odds. How about we forget those eight other women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now? Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela as Charity. So good luck, long shots. Hey, Vipes. Heard you wanted to talk? Look, I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes or any other stupid name you come up with. I'm feeling a negative vibe here, but maybe we should try to work together since this jackass is your universal champion. Not for long. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that Don't test me. So next week, am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? No. You'll be facing the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring. I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash only payments of $99.95, we'll be in business, man. I guess I need to find an ATM. I like your confidence. Now let's see if you can handle yourself in the ring. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Well, while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> not even close. You're right, it's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, beating me is not even on your list as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Woo! I'll 
do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. It's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house? Come on, whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house! Yeah, much better. You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on to my championship. That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you and this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. That's right, I said SmackDown. Happy? You didn't hear this from me, but Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. No, she doesn't need to worry. Because after my match against Finn, we'll be one win away from taking the series. Then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know, how it's usually done. That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. What do you think? Uh, I uh, think I heard my music... Uh... Gotta run. You should have been in a position to win the series against Becky Lynch. I'm sorry I let you down. You didn't. All that matters is we're still alive. Now I just need to beat Becky to even up the series, and then it's up to Trey to close it out. You got this. Then after that, well... You got this. You've got a lot of nerves showing up in our locker room. I'll go wherever the hell I want, especially since I'm about to be the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I guarantee I'm gonna beat you and tie the series up. Okay, then what? Because even if you somehow manage that, then your friend Trey's going against my friend Drew in the final match. And we all know my friend's just a little bit tougher than yours. So like I said, one way or another, that championship's coming back where it belongs. If you're so confident, how about we get things started right now? Nah, nah, I need to go warm up first. Don't want to pull a muscle slapping your head off. I wanted to let you know the guys and I got together and decided that if you pull off the series win, we'll consider calling our team the new tray like you suggested. Really? That's awesome. Sure, I mean, we probably won't team up that often or ever again after this, but still, the offer stands. Oh, well, thanks. Go get them, champ. Are you happy? There's a chance I could lose my title without ever being pinned. If it makes you feel any better, Becky Lynch promised me that no one from her side will get involved in the final match. Oh, she promised you. Then I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Where do they keep the popcorn around here? I don't normally put trash food in my body, but I think watching your team let you down is worth an exception. I hope you're feeling all right after that steel cage match. Look, if you're worried about our match later, I'll be fine. Turns out I actually perform better with possibly cracked ribs. Just remember, the winning mixed match challenge team gets $500,000 to donate to whatever charity they want. I don't want to miss out on that because you've got your hands full with other things. My hands aren't full at all. Look, completely empty. I even had time to think of an awesome team name, Team Rowdy Trey. You clearly just thought of that, so I think that proves my point about you being distracted. No, that took weeks of brainstorming. I swear, I even had a think tank put their heads together on it. Whatever, just make sure you bring your A-game later. 
The mixed match challenge starts tonight and everyone else knows who they're teaming with. So when are you gonna tell me who my partner is on my way to the ring? Oh, did I forget to assign you a partner? Must have slipped my mind. Yeah, I'm sure. To make it up to you, I'll let you choose your teammate. Great. I choose Seth Rollins. You didn't let me finish. I'll let you choose from a group of superstars that I've selected. Is Seth Rollins one of them? No. Your choices are Kurt Hawkins, who's now lost over 1,000 consecutive matches, your old trainer, Riley Flash, who I have no doubt is in tremendous ring shape, especially after just flying in from Calgary on six connections. It was the cheapest fare I could get last minute. And finally, Drew McIntyre. You might remember he recently helped Becky Lynch acquire your SmackDown Live Women's Championship, so I'm sure you two would work really well together. I know it must be hard to pick from those three amazing options, but I need an answer now. See, when you're willing to put your gas station toilet seat of an attitude aside, we can work together after all. It doesn't matter how tonight turns out, because either way, I'm proud of how far you and Red have come. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to be able to say I trained two WWE Hall of Famers, and I could probably raise my rates again. But like I said, doesn't matter. Well, I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but me and Red owe you for helping us get our start. What do you mean we didn't see eye to eye? You were my prize student. Never doubted you once. I used to call you Sure Thing Trey. Are you serious? You thought I'd be a manager at best, and you definitely didn't think I'd make it to WWE, let alone become a Hall of Famer. I think you said something about pooping golden nuggets? I don't recall that. Anyway, good luck, sure thing. Look, I know we haven't spoken much since I've been gone, but I just wanted to say I'm pulling for you tonight. And Brooklyn had no right to exploit your past and ruin your big moment. I appreciate you saying that. But I also know how your impatience and temper can get the best of you sometimes. So I'm a little worried that you rushed into this match, especially considering your condition and what's at stake. Thanks for your concern, seriously. But this is something we have to do no matter what we could lose in the process.